Hello and welcome to the Thea for Blender Getting Started tutorial. My name is Patrick Nieborg and I'm going to guide you through the very first steps using Blender together with Thea Render. Let's get started by downloading the Thea for Blender plugin at our dedicated Thea for Blender webpage at www.thearender.com slash blender. Once you have downloaded the plugin, we are ready to install it. Under the User Preference settings, we go to the Add-on panel and click on the Render category. Here we click on the Install from File button and locate the Thea for Blender plugin. Select it and the plugin will get installed. We enable the plugin by clicking on the checkbox next to it. Another important step is required to be able to use the Thea for Blender plugin. We need to indicate the render export path. To do this, we go to the File panel inside the Preference settings and on the Render Export Path, we select a directory where we want our render and scenes to get exported. Save your Preference settings and we have finalized the Thea for Blender plugin installation. Let's open the Meccano plane scene that has been provided with this tutorial. By default, if no material has been assigned to an object, the Thea plugin will assign a basic gray material to all objects that have no material assigned. We can convert Blender materials to Thea materials easily by clicking the B to T button, or convert basic Thea materials to Blender materials with the T to B button. If we want to convert multiple Blender materials to Thea materials at once, we can do this by selecting the object in the scene, the materials we want to convert, and click the Enable Basic Component button on the Thea tool panel located under the Render settings. Next step is to add a light source to our scene. Let's add a sun with sky. We do this by going to the Blender World tab and enabling Thea Physical Sky. Here you can select from a variety of locations, month and time of the day. To get a good exposed render, we need to adjust the Thea display settings accordingly to the light source we have in our scene. In our case, we can leave the default settings as they are appropriated for exterior renders with sun and sky illumination. Now we have to select the render engine to use with Thea. We can do this by going to the render panel and select one of the render engines that Thea offers. We are going to select the Presto engine. As we selected a progressive render engine like Presto, we can also input a determination criteria for stopping the render at a given time or given max samples. We are ready now to generate our first rendered image. Make sure once again that the export path is set correctly and save your scene. Click on the Render Image button to start the render. You can stop the render process by clicking the Stop button. Interactive rendering is also possible with any of Thea progressive render engines. We can choose between using only the GPU or CPU, and both at the same time to gain even more render speed. We can enable the interactive render by pressing the Start ER button, and to stop the interactive render, simply press the Stop ER button. While in interactive render mode, we can make changes to our materials and get instant feedback in the interactive render viewport. Depending on your needs or hardware, you can also have the interactive render in a separate window, like the image viewer, gaining a faster refresh rate at a lower resolution. You can set manually the resolution to half size or quarter size and this way have a more responsive and fluent interactive rendering. Now 
We can also export our scene to Thea Studio. We do this by enabling the Start Thea After Export checkbox and pressing the Export Current Frame button. Thea Studio will open with the exported scene where we can then make further adjustments if needed. With exporting the scene to Thea Studio, we have reached the end of this tutorial. We have covered the basic steps on how to install a plugin, set up a scene, render it inside Blender using Thea Render, and export the scene to Thea Studio. My name is Patrick Nieborg, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.